Hello guys, welcome back to my another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how I did this of cyberpunk effect. In a simple way, I'll explain how I did. Before that, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification for another future update. Let's start. So guys, I'm going to create a new layer with the uh, pixels of 2400 and 3000 with the resolution of 300. Let's create. After that import, I imported my cutout image and added this background. This background I came up with the pixels background. You all guys, I know, you know. And I adjusted it as I, as I wanted. Duplicated and I wanted to blur it. Went through lens blur and adjust it how you want. For me, it's I need a, some bokeh effect on the background. this is good I think don't make the white so bright keep it simple or else it will look like this okay and then I added an I added a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Decrease how you want and make it lipid mask. Hold alt you will get that now. Before and after. <laughs> Just kidding. And make some little you know in the edge you have to remove the dark spots. I and I created a solid with uh, with the blue. You can pick whatever the color you need. In my case, it's blue. After that, I started painting on the background, and it's blending mode to screen. See, it's started looking like uh, it's glowing. I made it same way how I did it in the blue I created use saturation now I'm going to make a U and saturation layer clip it mask and drag it to the right you have to see the match of the background color lightness okay invert the mask control i color and paint it on the edge of the image i want i'm going to fast it Drag that underlining area to some like this. Yeah, it's okay. Mm. See, you can see the difference, right? If you drag it to full right, it will disappear. And I'll, I also painted on my face, cloths, hair to look like it's real light. And I added color balancing layer. See, it's looking like I was there really. <laughs> and I also created another solid. No. <laughs> 
like created another use saturation layer with this time the color is pink yeah for other side increase the lightness clip mask and invert paint it wherever you need you have to paint it on your skin cloth hair everywhere it will be easy and i created a duplicate with the high light clip it mask masking control i invert it in the edge capacity 100 flow 51 and i painted in the edge solid of white for what guess what it's the rim light clip it mask cold art and click there it will be easy invert same you have to paint it on the corner edge of your image you can rotate it by clicking on r it's a short form rotating see how i did it See done. We can feel the rim light now. This it everything. This it view. Mm. Now I was thinking about adding some glowing eye effect. So I created a exposure for brightening my eye. Clip it mask invert painted on the eyes how scared it looks like and i also created hue saturation color eyes now i'm going with the yellow ish color you can duplicate it there by dragging after that just play with the bars for me now it's shooting like purple yeah, it's okay created another solid layer 
invert the mask choose a purple and it's blending mode to screen it can low keep those opacity and flow a little low 45 to 25 little okay now you can see the eyes glowing slightly don't make it too much too much leads to too ugly and i was playing with with the blending modes and then i chose screen and i created exposure layer this time for the t-shirt i am wearing paint it slightly wherever you feel that it should be dark and uh, color uh, and use saturation layer uh, this is for the tattoos what i just painted tattoos on my finger and uh, and on my face so x this one in the hand i removed it spot to draw no it's good looking good no it's not looking good I choose to go with this is for the glow behind that glow bouncing back inverter control i painted behind my image hardness to zero the glow for rim light tutorial you can see the upper video which is in the i button can you glow like this it's blending mode to screen created mm, another duplicate for other side pink You can feel the glow, 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 glow. Color eyes, little needed some for here. Yeah, so you can see that before and after. After, you can decrease your opacity.
after this all i'm going to convert it as a smart object and our magic filter camera raw started making some adjustment Ta-da! This is what I came up with. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more, more, more tutorials. Bye bye.